Conquered is here. It's the PvP 5v5 shooter game that's similar to Overwatch, except it's more woke, but we'll get into that later. Come join us as we explore the game's beta and see if it's any good. So we can see here we already have a good start, see? A, uh, a very diverse cast. We got a black woman, a huge talking robot, two aliens from different planets. Their captain is an AI with a female voice. And by the looks of it, she is definitely Asian. Diversity at its finest. Now let's take a look at the different characters that you can use in this game. Just by looking at it, you can definitely tell that this is a woke DEI game, pushing an agenda. And of course, their most hated demographic, white men. Seems to me that there are only two Caucasian people here, uh, and one of them is a white man. I mean, at least there's representation, right? We can also see four black people, three of them being black women. Oh, I'm sorry. Strong, independent black women. They don't have the typical stereotype of a soldier, which is typically big buff men. So you'll get none of that here. No big buff men. No, no hot chicks either. But hey, we got representation from all corners of the galaxy. Let's take a look at the characters in more detail, shall we? Let's start with the robot trash dispenser. Okay, here we are. And all oh, right, there you go. One off. He, him. Of course. This is what separates Concord from all the other video games out there. Now you can see their pronouns. Not in a million years would I have thought that this trash dispenser robot is a he, him. But thankfully, you know, the video game gives us a hint. Thank you very much. Let's move on. Speaking of the soldier archetype, here we are. We have Emari. Except it's a she, her at this time. If men can do it, so can women. Gone are the days when you have a big buff macho man carrying a Gatling gun. Now that's a women's job. Ah, the first non-binary character in a video game shooter. De Veers. They're a breacher. They them, okay? You gotta get the pronouns right. Otherwise you're a bigot. She does have feminine features, but, uh, you know, she's... I mean, they, they, they have... They are non-binary, so yeah. So yeah, a lot of cool characters. Each one of them have their pronouns in there as well. So make sure that you don't misgender them and stuff like that. We even have an old grandma playing with us. To represent the elderly community. There you go. We got Duchess. She, her. She's a ranger. Pretty hot granny with a machine gun. Yeah, might be, might be one of the coolest thing out there. And then we have this guy who at first I thought was a white guy, but based on our research, he's actually Hispanic. We got Teo, he's a ranger, of course, typical machine gun, stuff like that. Grenades, machine gun, has a pistol, yep, there you go. Here we have Daw, tactician, he, him. Hmm, that would have been a little hard to tell if it was a guy. But yeah, Daw, to represent the, uh, I don't know, plus size community, I guess. He's a uh, healer. Healing pads, blah, blah, blah. Yep, there you go. One for everyone. We've got robots. We've got, oh, look at this. Um, undecided. So no gender yet. He hasn't, she hasn't, they haven't decided yet what their gender is. Or their pronouns are. Could be Zzer for all we know. Damn, not a single hot chick in this roaster. Which is good because sexualizing the female body in video games is a bad thing. No, no, no. Nothing, no cake for you, no boobs, no titties, n not, not even a bare leg. But hey, overall it's an interesting cast. Very interesting, very colorful. So far the bed is looking great. We have some light and fun cutscenes here and there. The music kind of reminds me of Apex Legends for some reason. Maybe not just the music, maybe the the look as well. I mean, it, it's, it's a good thing. And since we're just starting the game, we have very limited options. I guess for now we can just do the Brawl 5v5 PvP. Basically a deathmatch kind of thing. Alright, let's take a look at it. After some waiting, we basically start our match, and here we are greeted by a cutscene, which is kind of long. 
It, it's, it is kind of long. I, I kind of wish we just, you know, go straight to the deathmatch and to just start playing instead of having this cutscene here. Ah, and we're finally here. We get to select our free gunner. Yep, that's what they're called, free gunners. I'm not really sure who to pick here, but um, I don't know. I guess we'll just go with our gut here. And here we are. Well, it is Overwatch. Just a different name. First person shooter. And when you die, you get to choose another one or the same person. So far, it's not bad. It's uh, it's kind of fun. It definitely has a huge potential, but you know, we'll we'll see when it comes out. It really helps if you have a good team, meaning they play good and that they don't leave. Because once you're short by a teammate, it's really hard to win. So far, I'm really enjoying it, especially I, I enjoy exploring each and every free gunner there is. Their weapon, their ability, how to use them. It's, it's really interesting. Each free gunner has their own mechanic, which allows you to explore a different playstyle. In conclusion, I think that Concord is worth the look. It is a game that you can definitely enjoy with your buddies or even alone. And if you keep a blind eye on all the woke and DEI propaganda, I'd say the gameplay itself is enjoyable. But does it have what it takes to go against similar games such as Overwatch or even Counter-Strike? Or will it be forgotten just like many others? We'll see how it does very soon. Until next time, if you've made it this far, Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button in order to support our channel and for more gaming content. See you in our next video.